Hey there everyone, welcome back. This is some crazy news and locals in Canada too. A man was stabbed over social distancing dispute in Nanaimo, BC. These injuries, a result of an altercation over social distancing. And a guy came by and pushed my daughter into her car. So I just said, sir, six feet, social distancing, like it's the law. He gave me the finger and swore at me and my father didn't like that. Kurt Lachette approached the man, but before he could say much, he was struck in the head with a metal coffee mug. Holy, that's crazy. So this guy ended up pushing their daughter into the car. She told him like, you know, hey, what's up? And the dad approached him and he ended up smoking him in the head with a coffee mug. Uh, that's pretty nuts. Then a fight ensued. My son-in-law jumped in and then my, my daughter and I were kicking him, trying to get him off my husband. And then all of a sudden my dad was up yelling he had been stabbed. Um, okay, so the guy and the father are fighting. The son-in-law gets involved, and then the mother and daughter get involved, so they're all basically beating this one guy up, and he ends up pulling out a knife and stabbing the dad. Blood's right there. Several witnesses called 911, and police quickly arrived on scene. While the knife that was used was recovered, the suspect had fled, running through Nanaimo's Port Place Mall. What the hell? Did you see that? The blood was still there. They didn't even bother cleaning it up. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Turns out he headed straight for the Gabriola ferry terminal, making the trip to the small island off Nanaimo. An hour later, officers received a tip, and the suspect was arrested at his home without incident. Sounds like somebody ratted him out. Yeah, I could have stayed back. I could have not said anything at all. And while they know the social distancing protocols are meant to keep everyone safe, after this, it's tough not to feel a little shaken. Okay, so the guy ended up pushing the daughter. Uh, that's assault right there, so he should be charged with that. But then he ended up walking away. The daughter was like, hey, social distancing. The guy was like, F you. The dad then went to pursue the guy where he's already walking away. The dad pursues the dude, instigates the dude, uh, intimidates him and the guy ends up hitting him with a cup in the head they get into a fight they get on the ground they're fighting uh the son-in-law gets involved starts fighting the guy the mom and the daughter get involved and start fighting the guy he ends up pulling out a knife and stabbing the dad and then fleeing and they end up recovering the knife finding the guy later and now he's being charged um well i believe he should be charged for the initial assault pushing the girl but if he was leaving and the dad came up to him and he felt threatened or intimidated or depending how the dad was maybe yelling at him, swearing at him, who knows how he was acting, um, possibly instigated it even further. And that's the thing is even anger management and training and all that stuff states that if you're on the streets and somebody's like F you and like, you know, swearing at you. Um, you can just ignore them and walk away. You don't have to instigate and go after them. And at that point, you're intimidating or instigating them. And I feel like at that point when maybe he went and approached them, the guy felt intimidated him and was like using self-defense. So I don't know. It's kind of a gray area. I think that, you know, maybe he should be charged for the assault of the pushing, but he was using self-defense when they, they attacked him. And, you know, I don't know, it depends. And the thing is that there is obviously video cameras there, so why don't they show what actually happened with the video surveillance rather than just talking about it? So, I don't know, it just doesn't all, it doesn't add up. And even them, they admit that they should just ignore him and that he was looking for a fight, so they should have probably just ignored him. So that just goes out to everybody else and educate you that if you see somebody that's, like, very angry or, you know, agitated, um, and they're just like, F this, F that, or whatever, I'm mad, it's better off just to ignore them or just walk away rather than confronting them and causing a scene or instigating it to the point that possibly you might get hurt or injured. Um, because if you approach them, they might feel like you're threatening them or intimidating them, and then they might just try to justify self-defense or can justify self-defense, depending on what you're saying, because, uh, I know sometimes if you just go like, hey, F you to somebody, they might just react and be like, what, you said F you to me? What, you really think you're going to say that? And then they come up to you and you're like, whoa, okay, bro, calm the fuck down. And then you get into a fight. And yeah, so I don't know. Let me know your thoughts and opinions about this in the comments below. I'm quite interested. Do you think the guy should be charged for the pushing? 
and uh, charged for the stabbing and all that stuff? Or do you think he was justified in self-defense? Or do you think he wasn't justified in self-defense? And that's the thing is that people are just being dicks and abusing, uh, like, you know, the whole system right now. So it's just better to avoid anyone that's doing that and not cause a scene and, and instigate anything. So I don't know. Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below because I know it's happening like every day and it's getting crazy. Um, I'm very curious to find out and please like this video. Click that subscribe button to be entered into the cash giveaways later when I monetize. Really appreciate it. And uh, luckily uh, the guy survived and it was very minor injuries and uh, it's a lesson to be learned and a lesson to everyone else. And uh, yeah, it's just crazy. So stay safe, everyone. God bless you all. Take care and peace out.